what is that? Fish people. Fish people? <laughs> That'd be weird. What is up, everyone? I hope you are all well. Now, we are back on the channel with possibly the foundation building blocks of the aquarium hobby. Um, this is probably what you should learn first. Nothing else, this. So what am I talking about? You would have seen it in the, um, what are they called? The thumbnail, that's the word. You'd have seen it in the thumbnail, the nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle is probably the base level of information that you need before you start an aquarium. Knowing that means that you are going to succeed or at least know what's going on in your aquarium at any given time. Seasoned veteran fish keepers will know exactly what this is, or at least they should do. A lot of you newcomers coming into the hobby will be a little bit daunted, I suppose, and scared by it. It seems like a weird thing, but it's really not that hard. And once you get the basics of it, it's actually really simple to understand. The nitrogen cycle is pretty much the circle of life in your aquarium. It's waste, it's breaking down, it's feeding something, and it goes all the way around again. I suppose a little bit like the Lion King, just less wildebeests and lions. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Let's do it properly. Let's give you all the information on the nitrogen cycle in a really simple way. <sighs> right. Step one, your fish are constantly going to the toilet in your aquarium. Every day, all day, every minute. They are going to be producing what's called ammonia. This is the first step in the cycle. Now after this, enter beneficial bacteria number one. They are going to be breaking down your ammonia into nitrite with an I. I always used to get these confused. Not confused, but you say them easily the wrong way around. And customers at the store always used to get them wrong too. Once that is done, nitrite gets broken down into nitrate with an A. Remember that? That is the last step of the cycle, pretty much. Now, once it's in this form, there's not a lot that will break it down. Yes, there are filter medias. Yes, there are liquids on the market that say they'll reduce it. All of these are going to give it a helping hand. They're not a perfect thing to get rid of it completely and just go, yep, yeah, don't need to do anything else with the aquarium. So you need to make sure you are doing something with that nitrate. Now, the thing to do, well, there's two actually. One is water changing. Water changing is going to remove the nitrate. So if you do a 20 to 25% water change once a week, you are removing some of that nitrate. The other thing that you can use is plants. Plants are going to use nitrate up as a food source. So things like fast growing stem plants, things like the floating plants that you see on the surface behind me, they are all going to use nitrate as a food source, which will sort of complete the cycle in your aquarium. But you still have to be careful. So even though you've completed this cycle and the circle of life seems to be working in your aquarium, there is still a problem that could rear its ugly head. And that is the nitrates building up over time. Now, there is many ways of explaining this. The way that I used to explain it in the shop regularly is as follows. If your fish create 10 parts of ammonia per week, let's say. Brilliant. They produce that. Now, they get broken down into 10 parts of nitrite, a little bit less toxic but still a problem. 10 parts of nitrite would be horrendous for the fish. Now they get broken down into 10 parts of nitrate. Brilliant, we are a less toxic form. Now, like I say, when we get to this stage, your plant and your water changes are gonna get rid of this. But the problem is if you don't get rid of all of it. So we're at 10 parts of nitrate. Brilliant, let's say your water change removes four of those. Brilliant, we're down to six parts of nitrate left in your aquarium. Let's say you've got live plants in there, they remove another four. Brilliant, we're down to two parts of nitrate. Now the issue being is those two parts of nitrate don't go anywhere. They sit in your aquarium. And next week, the fish are going to do the same thing. Ten poos, broken down into nitrite, broken down into nitrate. Brilliant, we've got the water change done, four parts removed. We've got the plants going in, four parts removed, but we're still left with those two parts of nitrate. So in two weeks, they've built up to four. And in four weeks, they've built up to eight. And in 16 weeks, they've built up to something way higher than that that the maths in my brain can't do. But you get my point. What happens is they slowly creep up and people with older aquariums all of a sudden suffer maybe fish losses or they suffer with really bad algae and they can't work out why because they've been doing water changes. The plants have been absorbing the excess nutrients or so they thought. But it's that little bit that you leave in there every week that causes a problem. So how can you combat this? Well, everyone's aquarium is different. People with big, fast-growing plants and low fish stocking will get away with it. There'll be hardly anything going wrong in that aquarium because the cycle will be able to keep up with the amount of waste being produced. 
people with big fish or people with uh, fish tanks where they feed them fairly often, that's going to be an issue because your plants might not be able to keep up with the amount of waste that's being produced and obviously your water changes. So how can you combat this? Well, there are filter medias out there that will help. So there are certain filter medias that absorb the nitrates and there are liquids as well that will help absorb the nitrates or break them down at least. The problem being with these is they're both a helping hand. They're not the, the answer, let's say. You still need to be careful and you still need to be on top of it. So the main answer, in all honesty, is knowing your aquarium really, really well, which is where most fish keepers get to at some point in their career or career. Yeah, fish keeping hobby career. Or the other thing is testing your water regularly. If you're testing your water regularly, you can see that week one, my nitrates were at zero. Week two, my nitrates were at five. Week three, my nitrates are at 10. Hang on a minute, I'm not doing a big enough water change or I've not got enough plants in there. So rectify those issues with more planting or more water changes or slightly bigger water changes you should be absolutely fine and it will work itself out in the end but it's just keeping a really close eye on it so cycling your aquarium isn't really part of the nitrogen cycle in this video i will do a bigger video on cycling your aquarium at a later date but we will touch on it in this video quickly cycling is essentially it means that your ammonia and your nitrite are being broken down efficiently and quickly by your filter and by the processes going on in your aquarium a big question i get asked a lot is how long does it take to cycle an aquarium days, weeks, months, it totally depends on how you do it and what you've got available to you, I suppose you would say. The simplest way of doing it is getting everything set up in there, your plants, your rocks, your wood, get your filter running on there, dechlorinating the water if you need to, depending on where you are in the world, and then adding something like filter start, which is a really good beneficial bacteria. That will kickstart the aquarium. And once you get those natural processes going with the plants and the filter, everything should start maturing but no aquarium is really ever fully cycled it's probably not what i mean now what i mean by not fully cycled is any aquarium could have an issue if you do something wrong to it this aquarium behind me has been set up for so long now a year and a half maybe um i know that if i drop 10 fish in there tomorrow new fish the filter wouldn't have a problem it's mature it's old it's the processes are there but if I was to do that in a newer aquarium and drop 10 or 15 fish in there, the filter might have a problem catching up. There might not be enough beneficial bacteria to break down the waste and to reproduce quick enough to break down the waste. Beneficial bacteria is everywhere in your aquarium and it is worth remembering that when you are cleaning your aquarium. It is on the rocks, it's on the wood, it's on the plants, it is everywhere. Oh, and in your filter, of course. Now, when you do a big clean on your aquarium, I've had some people that have had a major issue with this because they take some of the rocks out, they'll give them a scrub, they do a big gravel clean, they cut back some plants, they do a big change on the water, they clean their filter, and then the next couple of days, the tank goes wrong. It goes cloudy because there's an ammonia spike or something goes wrong. And that's probably because you've disturbed too much bacteria. So perfectly clean is not always the best thing for your aquarium. Yes, clean up the waste, yes, wipe down the algae, but you don't want it to be sterilized. One little thing is people used to think adding a bigger filter or more filters were gonna stop and you're not gonna have to worry about the nitrogen cycle. As I've explained, the nitrate can still build up whether you've got a humongous filter on there or whether you've got no filter at all. It can still build up and cause you a problem later on down the line. So like I've said, it is a simple process and it is an easy thing. And once you realise that adding too many fish or feeding too much too quickly can actually cause a problem and actually overload one of these steps in your cycle, fish keeping becomes a lot easier because you realise that doing it little and often, adding five fish a week instead of 20 fish a week is easier. Doing a little feed every day or every other day is better than putting it in once every three or four days, but just a massive handful. All of these things can overload the cycle in the aquarium and that causes this nitrogen cycle to not necessarily stop but pause a little bit I suppose you would say and in that time that is where the ammonia or nitrite can build up and that's where you have issues with your fish. Cycling your aquarium will be part of a bigger video later on down the line most definitely. There are many different ways of cycling the aquarium and it just depends which one works for you. I have always used something like filter start, which is a beneficial bacteria that gets the aquarium maturing. And as long as you're slow in the process of doing everything, works out absolutely fine. You'll see people online who talk about ammonia dosing. Now, ammonia dosing can come in several different ways from dosing a liquid to putting some honey and well, it won't be honey, so there won't be any fish in there. But putting some fish food in there or something like that 
getting an ammonia source going in there and then building up the bacteria. Works an absolute treat. There's several people out there that recommend this way. If it works for you, it works for you. The way that I do like doing things is once you've got several mature aquariums is you can take media out of one, put it into another one, maybe even take some water out or some plants or some rocks or whatever. Everything is going to help mature that new aquarium. So if you can get a mature filter from maybe a friend or another aquarium, take a little bit of media out of it, that will start your aquarium up really, really well and so, so quickly. But yeah, cycling a tank will be a different video. So watch out for that video in the future. I hope this has made sense to you. It's the way I've explained it for the last, I don't even know how many years now. I really need to count how many years I've been in fish keeping and in the, uh, in the shop because, uh, yeah, it's been a long time. But it's the way that I've explained it for a long, long time. Hope it makes sense to you. Hope it's an easy way. And like I say, this is the building blocks of the aquarium. This is your first step. Once you get this down, everything else is way easier. So hope you've enjoyed it. Hope it's been interesting. If, it, if the nitrogen cycle can be interesting. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.